guys. <laughs> so um, I decided to show you how I am going to um, make the noses for the snowmen that I purchased um, at the Salvation Army. I know this is a terrible setup, but I just wanted you to be able to see like an up above view of what I'm doing. So I have some polymer clay here and I haven't worked with this particular clay in a really, really long time. So it's very hard. So um, what I need to do is I need to work it and let my hands heat it up uh, to make it soft and pliable. Um, you have to do this with any clay, polymer clay that you use, whether it's old or new, uh, because conditioning is a must. If you don't condition your clay enough, you know, and work it till it's pliable, you risk um, the chance of whatever you make um, cracking uh, once it's baked. So um, this piece is like very, very hard. So I'm just kind of like rolling it and pinching it and twisting it. I also have, and yes, you will see too, if it's not conditioned enough, Little pieces will crumble off and, you know, that's how you know that it's not, that it's not conditioned enough. I also have a machine. It's called Never, the Never Need, K-N-E-A-D. And I actually won it in a contest on uh, one of the polymer clay uh, YouTube channels that I used to watch. And it's um, an awesome machine for um, working your clay. It's, it's got like a, a weight to it and you, uh, it's almost like a, a vice grip where you put your clay on and then you lower down this uh, thing and it smushes it and you just keep turning it and smushing and, you know, and working it until it's nice and soft. So, um, I'm going to do that with the machine and then I will come back when it is soft enough for me to work with. Um, and so I'm not killing, uh, my fingers. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, so I had to change this cause I, I wasn't happy because all you could see was, um, the thing that I had my tripod standing on was like sticking out. So I just... Tried, I'm doing it like this so you can see a little bit better. I can't see really good what I'm doing, but, you know, as long as you can see, that's cool. <laughs> All right, so I have this piece of clay, and I'm just going to um, roll it in a ball. Uh, then I'm going to roll it in like a log. I need to uh, cut this into three pieces because I have to make three noses. Um, so let me get my, my blade here. So I have two large noses to make and a small nose. So I'm just going to, uh, this is probably going to be too big, but you don't need a lot of clay for this, so... I'm just going to cut three, three pieces. And what I'm going to do is I am now going to, I'm going to roll this in a ball again. And I want to make a cone shape. So in order to make a cone shape, you have to roll um, one end of the ball. So you want to have your finger on one end so that it's so it starts to roll a cone shape. You see what what we're getting here? Kind of like uh, reminds you of candy corn. And you want to put more pressure on the end of this so you could make it into a point.
okay? So this is what we have. So I have my snowman down here, and I just want to kind of, um, I just want to kind of measure to see if this is the right size. And actually, this is perfect. Believe it or not, I can't believe I got the perfect size in the first try. Um, so what I like to do once I have the nose rolled out is I like to add some lines on it like a carrot has. So I have this, they call it a needle tool, but you could use um, a straight pin, a toothpick, anything like that would work. You don't have to have special tools. So what I'm going to do, and I hope you can see, is I'm just going to take my tool and I'm just going to go around my nose and just add some little lines so that it looks like a real carrot. Let's see, let's do one here and here. Here. So you have something that looks like this. Okay, so there's nose number one. It's that simple. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to work on my other large nose. And again, everything starts with a ball. Okay. And we're going to roll just on the one end of the ball. You want to get a little point. It doesn't have to be like, like a pinpoint. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to make some little lines going around the nose. It's all about the details, because you want it to look real, right? And, and you know how carrots have all those little lines. So that's what we're gonna do. We want it to look real. All right, and there we have nose number two. Okay, now for the last nose, this one is the small one, so I'm going to roll it, and then I'm going to roll one end of it, and you keep, keep rolling that one end till you get to like a point. All right, now this one is going to be too big for my little guy. I can tell by looking at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off about this much off the tip. And then I'm going to re-roll it into a ball. And I'm going to start over. And I'm going to... Roll, whoops, roll the end. All right, let me see if this is going to be good. Yep, that should be good. I think so. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make my little lines in the nose. You can just kind of willy nilly. <laughs> Make your lines. All you're doing is just kind of lightly pressing the needle into the the clay. You don't want to be real rough because then you distort your your nose. All right, so there's my noses. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna set them like this on my this is a ceramic tile, and that is how I bake my polymer clay. Now normally what I would do if the the um 
The item was a small item, like um, my little angel that I'm going to show you. I see she would be able to go right into the oven. I just noticed she's missing her ears, the bunny ears as well. I didn't even notice that. Oh my goodness. When it's something small like this, you would um, attach your clay to the actual item with um, a product that's called Sculpey Bake and Bond. And what that does is it adheres the raw clay to something that has already been fired. And then you would bake it in the oven right on your piece. However, these snowmen are quite large, as you saw in the haul video. So I'm not going to put those in the oven. What I will do is bake the noses, and then I will glue the noses on with either super glue or um, E6000. Okay, so our noses are done. So I'm, I'm, they're going to be baked right on this tile. That's why I have them sitting here. Actually, I'm going to move them out of the way and set them over here. Because next, we're going to work on this little angel's um, wing here. And I'm going to have to now try to fashion some bunny ears. Because I did not even notice that the poor bunny is earless. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get my white clay. Well, first I got to wash my hands. Because... Um, when you're working with colored clay, it does come off on your hands. So you want to wash your hands before you move on to your next color, especially if it's white, because it will rub off on the white clay. So um, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to condition a piece of white clay, and then I'll be back. All right, so I couldn't find any regular uh, white clay, so I had to use the sparkly clay. And as you can see, even though I washed my hands, I still got dirt on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep running it through my pasta machine, which is what I use to roll my clay out, um, until it comes clean. It just keeps blending it until it's, it's no longer uh, dirty. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I lost my clay. Don't need a lot of clay for this um, project because we're just doing the tip of her wing and... Um, the rabbit's ears. Okay, so this looks pretty clean now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just impress. I'm going to try and impress the wing in here. Okay, so this is the end of the wing, so I can tell about how much clay I need to um, attach. So what I'm going to do is cut out like a like a triangle. Something like this. Now what I need to do is I need to get out my uh, my bacon bond so that this raw clay will stick to this piece of uh, ceramic. And uh, this <laughs> this bottle has seen better days, but that's what it is. So you don't need a lot. I only need to put a little bit on the at tip of this wing. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to attach this piece of clay to the bottom of the wing here. 
Now this is, this is something that you have to play around with and maneuver and smear. And you know, like you wanna blend it in so that you don't see, I know this is hard for you guys to see, especially when I can't see what I'm doing in the camera. So I, as you could see, I'm trying to blend, blend this. I'm gonna make this into a point by pinching it. And I'm blending, trying to blend this in taking off the excess clay. Now it's not going to be perfect because as we know, this was broken. So I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm doing here. So now what I'm going to do, let me get this piece of clay off of there. Um, I'm just going to roll this over and try to smooth that out because I can't get my fat fingers in there. <laughs> All right, so, so now what I'm going to do, see I'm just trying to get the excess clay off of there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to just put some, some lines I'm going to put my hand underneath this wing and I am just going to put some some lines in here so that it looks like the other like the other um wing. You know what I mean? Like just and then I'm going to like try to round them a little bit. I mean, like I said, it does not have to be perfect, okay? I'm just trying to fill in this darn um, divot here. This is what's aggravating me here. Um, so I'm just kind of running this, this needle tool along there, trying to smooth it out. Um, I might have to use, uh, I have a lot of, uh, rubber tipped tools and sometimes I just use those to smooth, smooth out as much as I can. But like I said, this is not, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but at least she'll have um, a wing or all of her wing. All right, so... So this is what we have so far. Let me show it to you this way. Doesn't really matter, you can't see it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do the bunny's ears. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a very small, this is even too big, piece of clay. And I'm gonna roll it into a ball. And then I'm gonna roll it just like I did for the nose of the, the snowman, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to attach this cone shape onto the bunny's head. Oops, would help if I took the cap off of the bacon bond. That usually does help. 
put a little bit of bacon bond on there, not a whole lot. And I am going to, I am going to adhere that on there. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to try and smooth all this so that it blends right in with the bunny's head. I hope you can see that. Um, with, I have another tool that I like to use and it is, where is it? Where is it? Now I can't find it. Well, I could use this one. So I'm going to like smooth this down in the back. I'm gonna smooth it out. And then I'm gonna take my fingers and smooth it the rest of the way. And I'm going to smooth it over here. I hope you guys can see this. I can't see anything, what I'm doing. This is why I don't really like to do craft videos, because it's very hard for, to film them. Um, I don't like that tool. You want to take off as much excess clay as you can so that you don't have to, like, sand it or anything later. All right, so it's really not a hard fix. It's just a matter of playing around with it until you get it like you want it. And I'm just going to put a little, a little divot there so it looks like it's two ears. And then I'm just going to clean off the rest of this extra clay. As much as I can, I gotta clean it off of here because it's... Yeah, it's just getting a little overzealous with my, <laughs> with my tool here. Now I gotta go back to my fingers. Smooth it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to um, I am going to bake her and the noses. And um, once um, they're out of the oven, I will come back and I will show you um, what they look like. Well guys, this is the finished products. These are the finished products, I should say. So, we all have noses. <laughs> this little guy's nose is a little bit bigger than that one, but you know what? Who cares, right? And look at, look at, she has a whole wing and the bunny has some ears. Not perfect, but guess what? Looks a lot better than it did. Don't you agree? So here they are. I hope you guys learned a little something from this video. Um, I hope to do more craft videos in the future and how to's and stuff like that. Um, I just have to find a way to do some better filming. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.